Hey there, church. Just wanted to give you an update on our service for this weekend. We are having to make a change here. Uh, this weekend, we will only be worshiping online. We will not be worshiping in the building this coming Sunday. Uh, I would ask for you to be in prayer for uh, Boyce Irwin. Uh, he this week began to have some um, coronavirus-like symptoms. Unfortunately, he is not going to be able to be tested until Monday. And so, in order to err on the side of caution, um, uh, we recognize that this past weekend, while most of us were not in the building because we were worshiping online, um, the worship team was exposed to, to Boyce. And so again, just to err on the side of caution, uh, we are going to be worshiping online again this weekend uh, just to make sure that everybody is as safe and healthy as possible. Obviously, once we get those test results for Boyce and for Melody, uh, we'll be able to pass those along to everyone else. Um, obviously, if you've had any kind of direct contact with them, um, just use necessary precautions of social distancing and wearing masks and uh, we may want to encourage you to uh, to get tested at some point as well uh, and certainly recognize that if you happen to have any symptoms certainly let me and in, in my office know so that uh, we can keep track and, and again just help make sure that everybody is as healthy as possible so again uh, just uh, in, in summary here we will be worshiping on Sunday at 11 a.m., uh, we will be premiering uh, a recorded worship service for you, um, both on Facebook and on YouTube. So uh, you'll be able to worship with us there. We'd love to interact with you. We'd love for you to, to sign in, let us know that you're there, and uh, really just connect with each other, even in the midst of our worship. Uh, continue to be praying for your elders as well. Uh, so far, I feel like we have made some really good decisions decisions to help make sure that everybody is as safe as possible. For example, like this past weekend, making sure that we were meeting online. Uh, we didn't know that anyone else might show symptoms, but because of that decision, uh, the only possible exposures are through our worship team and not the congregation as a whole. I'm thankful for uh, the courage of our elders to make the decisions that are necessary. And we just ask you to continue to be praying for me and the other elders as well that we would continue to make those decisions uh, that are best for everybody. We know that we would prefer for everyone to be in the building, worshiping together, to be able to fellowship together. We love being with one another and to hug on each other, all those kinds of things. But we also know that we have to be conscientious of everyone's health and the fact that while my symptoms for COVID-19 may not have been very severe, that may be a different story for other people. And so uh, as an act of kindness and consideration for others, we are going to do whatever we can uh, just to ensure the health of our congregation as a whole. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to email me at pastortim at hfcog.org. Uh, you can also message me through Facebook if you would like, uh, or even through our YouTube channel there. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, again, continue to be praying for everybody involved and continue to reach out to each other. Remember, this is so important. I want to remind you of this each and every time I do one of these announcements here. Make sure that you are calling each other and checking in on each other uh, so that you know how to pray for one another. Social distance is a reality right now, but be by calling one another, emailing each other, texting each other, we can shrink that social distance, show the love that, that we have received from God to others as well, and be able to, to uh, even extend that love to those uh, throughout the congregation and even those around our community as well. Church, know that I love you and I'm praying for you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again real soon and uh, we'll keep everybody up to date on where things are as we go. Love you, church.